to have a narrowness of vision is to be short-sighted and to be short-sighted means that only what one sees directly in front of them is possible and this is why so often when the aspect of what is to come is being talked about and it's stated that all the things that are going to unfold these immensities are going to be occurring very soon well the one who is nearsighted who is short-sighted who is narrow of vision can make fun of all that mock it and say yeah in two weeks or in one week and then of course two weeks passes by and seemingly nothing still happens and that's the other problem with narrowness of vision it doesn't comprehend that we are contending we are dealing with immensities incomprehensible immensities as was stated before as well the emergency call was made in 2001 9 11 that's when the emergency call was made think of how many years have already passed since then now think of making a regular emergency call if the ambulance took decades to arrive you would find that to be absolutely ridiculous the people would probably long be dead at that point but this is no typical emergency call that was made and this is the type of immensity that is being talked about so the idea of soon needs to be related in that context when it's said soon all of these things will come to pass it doesn't mean in two weeks but at some point at a certain point it will it will actually mean in two weeks because everything inevitably does narrow down to a nil point where there's zero time left that's why it's being stated over and over again there's still some time left for one to prepare inwardly for the immensities that are going to unfold there's still a bit of time left is one going to utilize that time and take it seriously what is meant by all of this is so many are in a very dreamlike state very much so a dreamlike state and that dreamlike state is going to turn into a waking nightmare just to put it succinctly just to put it bluntly nothing is going to be able to be ignored the alarms that have been sounded for so long for so many years the emergency the very real emergency that the heart has been sounding the alarm on the earth has been sounding the alarm on all of that is no longer going to be ignored quite soon it's going to be a brick wall it's going to be the end of the line so right now yeah still right now people can mock it and treat it like a joke and things still seemingly are trundling forward the mockers the jeers the jesters they can keep saying so in two weeks right lol yeah, go ahead make that statement to eternity as well make your mocking statement just jest the whole time about the very real pains the very real emergency that we are in and one is going to see how far that takes them the brick wall is inevitable the end of the line is inevitable that's how this all works the truth is arriving and the truth is 
also not a democracy. It doesn't matter if you have every last individual on earth that says they vote that all of these things to pass aren't going to. None of it is going to happen. Well, it doesn't matter. The truth is the truth still. It's not a democracy. It doesn't get to be put to a vote. So it doesn't matter how many theorize that all of these things aren't going to unfold. It doesn't matter at all. It's inevitable. That's the price of consequence. That's the whole sequence of the consequence. There has been so much action done from the incorrect vision, so much, that inevitably it comes to an end and there's a price to pay. There's consequences behind all of those incorrect actions, all of the debt that's been piling up, a seemingly endless amount of debt. It's exorbitant. That doesn't just disappear because a vast majority just want to wish it away or they want to vote it away or they want to create some new age ideologies that just dismiss it, just toss it to the wayside just because it's inconvenient for one's desirous pursuits to have to contend with. Well, the truth doesn't care about one's desirous pursuits. The truth is the truth, and it exists alone. It doesn't need anyone or anything else to be the truth. It doesn't require anyone's belief, even. Not in the slightest. It's not like so many people's false sense of confidence requires other people's belief to be propped up. Otherwise, one doesn't have confidence in themselves. That's why so much of these so-called qualities are just illusions. Those are the illusions that so many carry. Social media has absolutely proved that out. Everyone just clamoring for attention. Calling all of these individuals on these sites their friends. Just thousands and thousands of friends all hitting that like button. How many real friends? That's what this is all about too. Separating the fake from the real. The illusion from the legitimate. The mind and the heart. It's one crown or the other. The end, that's all there is to it. One cannot have it both ways. All of the consequences of the wrong ideas that have been followed. The mind which has led Everyone astray, absolutely everyone, and cause so much pain, so much turmoil, so much chaos. Well, the truth which is the heart is coming back. The tables are going to be turned. Court is going to be in session. Absolutely it is. And it's going to come down to choice. The most important choice that can be fathomed. And that choice can't be dismissed. The alarm can no longer be dismissed at that point. You can't just shove it to the side. It's going to get very real. Very quickly. But right now, in this moment, 
the short-sighted, the narrow in vision can continue laughing at it all, treating it all like a joke. Go ahead, keep enjoying laughing at everything, at the amount of pain caused, if that's your desire to do so. Eternity hears your mockery. And all that will be judged, especially when you're hearing the revelation being brought forth. And you still choose to mock and laugh at it. It really, eternity very much hears you. So that's the question. Does one want to remain nearsighted, narrow of vision, or does one want to expand their vision and no longer dismiss the alarm? Because inevitably there's going to be an alarm that no one can ignore any longer. It's going to be the ultimate of wake-up calls. And this so-called dreamlike reality that people think is going to last indefinitely, well, that dream is going to disappear all at once. And everyone, absolutely everyone without exception, is going to find themselves in a waking nightmare. And that's not being said to push fear. It's being stated as part of what one needs to prepare themselves for and how serious, how damn serious this all is. Throw your TV out the window. Chuck everything that's a distraction out. Get rid of it all. Stop listening to the garbage. Take it serious. One's intention is what matters as well. Is your intention to take it seriously and to see what's going on. It matters very much. Or is one going to continue justifying incorrect actions in so many ways? Justification will do nothing against the weight of the truth. Absolutely nothing. It's all, all so important. That's it for today. Talk to you again soon.